the woman in black. There he is. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> is very pleased to have you here. Um, we're going to come back. So after the movie's over, stay in your seats because Daniel and I are going to come back. We're going to talk about the movie a little bit more. I want to start, though, uh, just by way of introduction. What was it about this story that grabbed you, that made you want to make this your first big appearance after some other movies that were kind of popular? <laughs> um, I mean, it was just that. It was the story, really. I mean, it was in some films, it's the part or the director, both of which were a, a huge, you know, factor. But um, no, it's, it was mainly just the, the, the fact that the story is so chilling and so compelling. And um, yeah, I wanted to be a part of telling it. I'll tell you, it's, it's a, a huge hit, uh, the story, the, the novel. Mm -hmm continues to sell yep. in Britain. It's the second longest running stage play in the yeah, West Yeah, but the end. first longest running is The Mousetrap, and no one's ever going to be that. So, yeah. like that. It's, 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 the Woman in Black has been running in the West End for uh, 22 years. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. so there's a lot of pressure to get this uh, to a level that's a little different, that's uh, something that people haven't seen but still say is true. Uh, to the story, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the only difference um, for anybody who, who's read the book or seen the play, obviously the, the play is framed very differently from the book, and we also have, you know, it's uh, the, the structure of the story, and, and the, the, uh, is, in the book it's told by Arthur as an old man in flashback, which is, is not what we do here, um, as you will see. Um, but, yeah, I've... Uh, that's it, really. <laughs> I've completely lost my train of thought. And, no, and also, in terms of what you were saying, the um, the differences. One of the, you know, if you take a very traditional classic ghost story and then you give it to Jane Goldman to adapt it, um, who did Kick Ass, uh, Star, Stardust, um, The Dead, uh, you know, she has elements of Japanese horror that she's obsessed with. So she, um, they're, in, they're in this as well. So yeah, you're in for a scary time. Yeah, yeah. this is a really scary movie. How scary are you going to be on a scale of like one to ten? Uh, well, since I'm here promoting a film, I suppose I should say 10. It's a kiss! Thanks for asking. We'll be back after the movie. We'll see you in an hour and a half.